Hi guys, it's Rachel. So, quick update. Uh, we left New Orleans about what time? About 9, 10? Yeah. Some of that. Like drove again in New Orleans. Didn't get anyone killed. Uh, and I actually drove until we reached Baton Rouge. So, that was interesting. Drove through Baton Rouge. Stray shot, easy. I must say, we have gone over more bridges than I have ever seen in my life. There is like a bridge every two or, miles. two or three miles in Louisiana. And in Texas. We are now currently in Texas. Currently going through rush hour traffic in Houston. Joy. But it's rush hour traffic, which is ironic because it shouldn't really be called rush hour traffic. It should be like crawl hour traffic because we're not going anywhere. We're going to maybe five miles an hour, if that. So it's quite interesting. I don't know if y'all can kind of tell, but obviously we're not going very fast. Uh, not doing a whole lot, just kind of sitting in the car. Jack is doing really well still. He's conked out in the back seat yet again. He's, he's very much his mother's dog, as I said in a previous video. He sleeps a lot in the car, which I tend to do myself, so yeah, it works out. He's done really well, though. Um, Mom is driving through Houston, obviously, because I'm filming this. Which I think when we get out of Houston and we find somewhere to stop, it'll be my turn to drive. I think she's getting tired. <laughs> but yeah, Mom drove through Beaumont, Texas, and Houston. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever watched Top Chef, but season seven, the one filmed in Washington, had a woman named Tiffany on it. Tiffany Derry. Mom knows Top Chef cus, you know, contestants. She is originally from Beaumont, Texas. Now, I was under the impression that Beaumont, Texas was a really tiny town. No, it's a city. Maybe small by Texas standards, because, you know, everything's bigger in Texas. But as far as, like, Virginia standards go, it's a city. It ain't a town. It's a city. But, yeah, yeah. Not doing a whole lot crawling through traffic, unfortunately. Which, it looks kind of like a storm is coming. Because it is not looking so hot off in the distance there. Those are some dark gray clouds. Not really surprised, though. Because according to Phoebe's monitor. I don't know if you can see it or not. But according to Phoebe's monitor, it is 93 degrees. 93 degrees outside this car. Thank God for air conditioning because it is probably 80 to 90 percent humidity, so it feels awful. We stopped at a McDonald's before getting into Houston, and it was like 95, 97, and it was awful. There was a slight breeze, but it was hot as Hades. Ugh. And poor Jack, he's in a fur coat, and it's black. <laughs> Poor baby was panting like crazy, which I did get him some water, but still he was panting pretty heavy. Yeah, it was bad. Mm -mm. And mom is actually getting tired of sweet tea. I never thought I would see that happen, but she is getting tired of sweet tea. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. But yeah, uh... Now, I don't know if anyone has ever drove west before, but just a heads up, you might need to know this, once you get out of Alabama, there's not a whole lot of rest areas. I haven't seen one since going into one. Louisiana. I saw one in Texas. Okay, mom saw one rest area in Texas. In Louisiana, there were a lot of places where you could like pull over and park, but there were no bathrooms or anything. I mean, Jack could have used the bathroom no problem. He goes in the grass. We would have been SOL unless we wanted to go squat in the bushes and there use some go. paper towels. So anyone who drives west, especially like going south and then west like we're doing, if you find a place that has like a gas station a McDonald's, you know, a restaurant somewhere right off the exit, take advantage of it. If you think, oh, I can go until the next rest area, there ain't one, sweetheart. So go on ahead and go, because 
the next exit to have something right off the exit where you don't gotta go drive into the nearest like ta town, like you know, a hundred miles out of the way. It might be two. It might be like you know, 250 miles. It might be 150 miles or some of that. So you better just go on ahead and go. Otherwise, you're just gonna be. It's gonna be bad. You're gonna be going in the weeds. You're gonna be pulling off to the side of the road and going in the weeds, which no one wants to do. But yeah, so mom found one rest area in Texas, and that's all we have found. And until we got to Houston and like Beaumont and like you know the cities, everything was very spaced out. There wasn't a whole lot in between. It was kind of desolate and just eesh. farmland. Farmland. Yeah, mom said we got in, we were in farm country. Which again, I will say this: anyone driving south and then west, Alabama has decent roads. Or no, I'm sorry. It was Mississippi. It was Mississippi that had decent roads. They were working on them when they were there. Louisiana had okay roads. It kind of so so. A lot of bridges, so there was a lot of concrete, and you know you get that thump 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 going on with going on with concrete roads, but they were okay. Alabama, the roads suck. They buried a cow and forgot to fill in the ditch. Every two feet. It's awful. Okay? Be prepared. Have good tires. Have good suspension. You're gonna need it. Texas roads are really good. They've been paved. They've been really good. Bridges are kind of steep. But you can make it. Don't be freaked out. It's kind of like almost you're driving the roller coaster. Because you got like hills that do this. Remember like they're really steep and then you got and you like crest and you go down kind of steep. But your car can make it. <laughs> there were a couple of times I was afraid Phoebe wasn't going to make it that far up there. But she did. So there's that. And. Yeah so Mississippi had decent roads. They were working on them when we were there. So we hit construction. But they were actually trying to fix the roads. Alabama, I saw nary a construction site that was working on the road at all, and they were awful. The roads were terrible. Louisiana, the roads were okay. Texas, they're they're smooth, so it's good. Like I said, there are lots of bridges, lots of traffic, and not the most polite people on the planet. I mean, apparently some people are seeing the fact that we have a Virginia license plate and we can use our turn signal and they're like, oh, stupid tourists, let them over. Not everyone is so nice though. <laughs> so just heads up. And if you're going to be going somewhere, make sure you bring a GPS. I think it's been a lifesaver. There are times I'm, I'm sitting in the car going, where are we? <laughs> Where are we going? And at least this thing can tell me you're going to just stay on I-10 and head towards San Antonio. Don't get off of these exits. And it will tell me where the exit I need is on the right or the left. So it does come in handy sometimes. But yeah, so God only knows how much longer we're going to be in Houston. We've been driving in Houston for probably almost an hour now. And I don't even, I don't see the end in sight in all honesty. I do not see the end anywhere in sight, and it's kind of bad. And there's not a whole lot of scenery. I see, like, on the right is a Nissan dealership and a building under construction and some skyscrapers. And then on the left is, like, a Chili's <laughs> and a Japanese restaurant and, like, a FedEx. <laughs> so there's not a whole lot. Yeah, according to mom, that's what I get in the city. I am not a city girl. Cities are okay to vi visit. I'd rather be like out in the suburbs somewhere. <laughs> I'd rather live out there. Like New York is fine to visit. I do not want to live there at all. I have no desire to live in New York. <laughs> but yeah. So. That's about it. I'll see you later.